for the touch. Paul Gascoigne, fresh from international duty, continues to attract most of the attention at Ibrox. But it was Brian Loudrop, Scotland's player of the year last season, who was to dominate this match. The prospect of Loudrop and Gascoigne in the same side has the Rangers supporters' mouth watering, and it was the Danish international who set up the first goal. Ali McCoy's converted the in-swinging cross. Seven minutes later and Rangers were two ahead. Wraith failed to clear the high cross from Selenko on the left. And when Gascoigne was closed down on the edge of the box, Charlie Miller drove a 25-yarder past Scott Thompson. He now looks ready to establish himself in Craig Brown's Scotland squad. Rangers went three up in 29 minutes and again Loudrop was the provider. The delicate chip waited perfectly to allow fullback David Robertson to beat Thompson. David Kirkwood was a defender caught with the ball inside him and Robertson couldn't have timed his run any better. The second half became a bit of a procession as Rangers warmed up for Wednesday's Champions League match in Bucharest. Gascoigne and Loudrop combined to release Stephen Wright on this occasion, but the goal was disallowed for offside. By this stage, Rangers were camped on the edge of Wraith's penalty area. The fourth goal came three minutes from the end. A poor clearance broke to Ian Durant, and he combined with Paul Gascoigne to set McCoy up for his fourth goal of the season. The Rangers will face a much sterner test against Stoya Bucharest this week. And Walter Smith will be hoping that McCoyce will continue this kind of scoring form against the Romanian champions. Oleg Salenko was another summer signing from Valencia, and with Mark Hately out of Wednesday's match, he may partner McCoyce. Short of fitness when he arrived at Ibrooks, he's now looking the part. Four goals allowing Rangers to stroll in the end. A word from both managers, but first the thoughts of a man clearly enjoying his Ibrox role, Paul Gascoigne. I'm feeling pleased with it. Um, like I said, they had a couple of chances early on. Um, that put the wind up just a little bit. 